Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Absinthe deck from Illusionist.com. Now, the Absinthe deck was part of the Prohibition box set uh, that Illusionist released a while ago. Uh, the Prohibition box set was a six deck box set. Uh, it was all um, alcohol based decks of cards. Uh, it, all, it all came in like a big wooden box. Uh, that wooden box, the six deck box set, uh, it was limited to a 3,000 set run. And then since then, Illusionist has released a few of those decks individually uh, for people who wanted to pick them up, and the Absinthe deck is one of those. Now, if you don't know what Prohibition was, uh, Prohibition in the United States, it was a nationwide constitutional ban on selling and making alcohol. Uh, it remained in place from 1920 to 1933. Sometimes it's called the Dry uh, Age or the Dry Crusades. And it was a movement that was started by these rural kind of Protestants and progressives. That, and so it was all mandated under the 18th Amendment to the Constitution. And so it later became known as the Volstead Act. Uh, in a lot of places, there was no uh, bars. There was no places where you could get alcohol. And so the kind of alcohol movement kind of went underground and uh, there was like secret distilleries and there was like tiny, tiny cubby holes where you could go. To, uh, nationwide prohibition had ended uh, with the ratification of the 21st Amendment and it replaced the 18th Amendment on December 5th in 1933. Now, if you don't know what absinthe is, uh, absinthe is called the green fairy spirit. Uh, spirit is just another way of saying alcohol. And it's been long since associated with the bohemian lifestyle. Uh, you got famous drinkers like Picasso, Van Gogh, Hemingway, Oscar Wilde, Toulouse Lautrec, uh, to name a few. Uh, absinthe is also uh, portrayed in movie and film and book as being addictive and uh, psychoactive and uh, it's a hallucinogen and so it's often associated with like uh, this green fairy that dances around when you drink it and you get drunk. The tuck case is all done in black and silver. Uh, it says absinthe across the front, and it says there is a different world waiting to be discovered only a sip away at the top. Um, very bohemian, lots of vine work uh, all throughout. It creates like this feeling like you're walking through like this mystical smoke-filled fairy jungle. Uh, <laughs> uh, it says premium playing cards down there, and then there's really tiny words on this tuck case, some of the which I can't even read with my glasses. Uh, it kind of looks like it was a printing, I don't know, faux pas or something. They just didn't notice how small some of these, uh, some of this text was. In fact, there's really small text there on the top as well. It's very difficult to read. I know it says absinthe right there. You got a green tuck seal, which is reminiscent of the green feel that you're going to feel uh, throughout the deck. The back design is the back design of the cards. Again, it looks kind of muted and muddy. I don't know if this is what they really wanted. Um, it is what the back design looks like, but it's just not as crisp and clean as the back design. Uh, this side says dare to indulge, and this side says the illusionist playing card company. Down there at the bottom, it does say that it's part of the Prohibition box set, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like all Illusionist decks, these cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they do come on their famous, infamous retail stock. They do have an air cushion finish and a modern embossing, and if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design is very beautiful. There's a nice big A there for absinthe, and you can just see all the rich vine work. Uh, it does look like a very old school, a very old fashioned style uh, deck, and it does really help carry that Beautiful feel. Uh, you've got a micro thin border there on the edges and it is black um, but that's cool because the faces are black as well so you don't have any uh, like slipping or showing uh, when you have reverse cards. You also have some triangles there at the top and the bottom kind of like looks like the all-seeing eye so you do have some kind of mystic uh, symbols there and it does still carry that really cool uh, haunting feeling that you would feel uh, from drinking a bottle of absinthe. The back of the cards is black with a star feel, and you're going to see that all through uh, every single card. This is your Ace of Spades, a nice big exploded uh, spade pip. doesn't have any words on it at all, just, it's just a nice uh, clean intricate design of the spade there floating amidst the black, and it's very beautiful. So with that, your pips and indice cards are all going to be completely custom. You got a custom pip in the corner, you have cust custom fonts, uh, custom uh, pips there in the center, all tied together to make a really cool looking deck. Your court cards are custom, however, they're similar from suit to suit, so all your jacks look the same, all your queens look the same, and all your kings look the same. Uh, the black cards are white, and the red cards are green, you follow? So see, you have a green, diamonds, okay, all right. 
With this deck, you're gonna get a couple of things, the first of which is you're gonna get an ad card for the Illusionist Black Club. Um, if you're cool, you belong to it. Or if you're poor like me, you don't. You're gonna get two Jokers, very similar, but a little different. One is the clean uh, Joker that you can read. This is Absinthe down here. It says Joker at the top. Um, it's kind of like a little uh, tap that's probably pouring absinthe. You can get the little absinthe glass. Absinthe glasses are really small, very delicate. Uh, you'd only drink a tiny portion of it. And then the second uh, joker is blurry. So, you know, it kind of has that kind of haze, hey, I'm drunk kind of feel, but it might be a, a really cool gaff for a pirouette flourish. The other thing you're gonna get is an ingredients card or a menu card uh, for a drink called the Stardust. Uh, this is a drink that you can make with absinthe, and uh, you have all the directions right here. The back design is the cool star field, and so these would make uh, neat collectibles. All right, so that's my deck review for the absinthe deck. If you'd like to purchase your own, you can head on down to illusionist.com. Com. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.